Hello everyone, Helder here. Uh, today I wanted to talk a bit about my uh, Leatherman Blast. I had uh, first been introduced uh, to the Leatherman brand when I was in Marine Corps uh, years ago. Uh, ended up picking one up because we always had our, uh, or at least me, I had my uh, trusty buck knife on me. I would have my uh, Marine K-Bar fighting knife. Uh, when we were out in the field, we'd have our bayonets, which were just basic issue. But whenever we needed something more, all right, especially when you're in your field trying to uh, improvise, uh, there wasn't anything there. So then a uh, fellow Marine showed me what he had uh, picked up in the PX and this Leatherman tool made in the USA. And, uh, you know, from then on out, I was pretty much sold. So this is the, uh, the Blast model. All right, you can tell it has all sorts of different stuff. I'll list uh, everything that it has uh, in the actual blog post. But you can tell it has the needle, needle nose pliers, regular pliers, wire cutter. You got a, uh, a file, can opener, bottle opener, Phillips head tip here, scissors, screwdriver, thinner one, eyeglass screwdriver, saw, another flathead screwdriver that's bigger, a nice straight edge, uh, straight edge blade, and of course uh, a ruler, and all sorts of other good stuff that uh, we will improvise when we're in the field and. Uh, you can always find something in there to, to get the job done. Uh, and that's why I chose this model. Uh, once again, this model is what I need. It doesn't mean it's specifically what you need. Uh, gearing up my tools, seeing what I have in my survival bag. Uh, once again, you look for the voids and try to fill something. So Leatherman has all sorts of models that I've used before from the Wave to all sorts of uh, juice models. And I'll keep them in different bags, but in my real go bag, um, that, that is ready to go if it's this is not on my person uh, somewhat on my belt uh, than it is in uh, my uh, survival bag or, or go bag because it'll once again fit the uh, the void that I need uh, or that I am missing uh, what's cool about this is it comes with this trusty uh, leather um, sheath all right uh, and uh, it's just awesome uh, once again I've had this Leatherman for over 10 years all right so keep that in mind once again look at the wear that's on this leather. Okay, so people are always asking me about the uh, leather sheaths as opposed to, uh, let's say, a uh, nylon sheath. All right, so once again, this is much more inexpensive than what you would get with a nylon sheath, especially something from Leatherman. But I, I seriously doubt that it would have uh, put up with all of the sweating and rubbing and everything else from being on my belt while I'm out there hiking or trekking or whatever. And you can tell that uh, it's still good to go. Yeah, I don't have to worry about replacing it and it's, uh, Logged a lot of miles in the field. Uh, let's just put it that way. So with these other, uh, let's say, knockoffs or more inexpensive, made in China, just the way it feels in your hand, obviously I can't convey that over the video, but uh, you could just tell almost the give that it has just when I'm squeezing when there's nothing there. If I really apply a lot of pressure and a lot of torque, this thing is coming apart and it's happened many times in my hand with other uh, multi-tools uh, that I've tested. But you got this trusty one made in the USA uh, once again, over a decade of use by me, and I am certainly not, not light on my tools. And a little bit about the Leatherman story. Supposedly, Mr. Leatherman was out, uh, got caught in something where his car wasn't working too well, uh, couldn't find the uh, tools that he needed to get the job done, and had the inspiration to uh, design this multi-tool. And uh, many of us have been uh, utilizing it ever since. All right, so it does come with a 25-year uh, uh, limited warranty. All right, which also adds and justifies to the price. But more importantly, when you are thinking of price, my thought is if you can't afford it yet, I wouldn't get it. All right, just don't buy a multi-tool because then you're going to go out there with that false sense of security. All right, I try to say that with everything else. It's like uh, when, when it comes to our combatives practice and everybody else goes out and uh, or some of our newer members will go out and buy all these high speed uh, uh, training tools as well as uh, carry weapons. And meanwhile, they don't know how to use it. You know, so it's kind of like uh, it's that false sense of security that you think you're prepared, but you're really not prepared. Same scenario here. You go out with this in your bug out bag and think you're good to go. And then, uh, you know, a couple years from now, the call comes where you really need to use it. It breaks off in your hand. And now what happens, right? Now you're right back where you started and you had your false sense of security. And now there's no more time to prepare. So it's nice to double up, right? Every once in a while, like I said, I have my trusty buck knife. So I'm out in the field. This is always also on my purse or on my belt. All right, uh, so if I'm out there, I'm probably not gonna use this smaller blade. Now in a pinch, if I don't happen to have this, of course I'm using this blade. But if not, I have this one. This is really what I'm gonna use when I need a blade in the field, uh, let's say as a, as a specific tool. But it's also nice to know that I have this backup here. All right, and there's also the multitasking where I might be using this in the field 
to uh, carve up something or do some type of uh, dirty work, right? And then in return, since I have this one here, I can use it in the kitchen setting, so to speak, right? Or in our little mess area so that we can go ahead and use it for, uh, for food prep. All right, so, uh, you know, keeping that in mind, if you have the luxury to have a couple different ones, then it's good to go. If you're looking for the minimal, minimalist approach, then this blade will pretty much be fine for uh, most of the smaller stuff that you need done in the field. It also has a very cool locking mechanism here. All right, so when the blade is extended and it's locked out, it's not going to disengage, all right, until you do press this lever that's here behind it, okay? So once that, that is pressed, I'm not gonna go uh, hard here, but once that's pressed, you'll be able to uh, disengage, all right? Difficult for me to do with one hand, so I don't want to try it and end up uh, cutting off my fingers. Remember, safety first. So I can't really say enough about the Leatherman Blast. Uh, after using it for years, this is the one that I selected uh, that fits my needs. And I'm sure as you go through various uh, Leatherman products, if this one for some reason doesn't uh, fit your needs, I'm sure that you find one that uh, that will, that'll have the extras in there uh, that you're looking for. All right, but uh, for right now, this is the one that... Uh, that I'm selecting, that I'm sticking with, and have uh, you know stuck with for for a while. All I could say is try to stay away from these little knockoffs. I mean, they're cute, they're awesome stocking stuffers. They'll do the job in a pinch, hopefully once, all right, if you're lucky, and then uh, pretty much you're going to end up uh, disregarding that. And uh, you wouldn't believe how many times in camping situations, hiking situations, uh, we'll come across these on the ground because uh, not only will the people buy these to begin with and try to use them, but then they break them and uh, discard them on the trail uh, like the idiots that they are. So, uh, you know, keep that in mind also. Um, you know, that uh, there's a rhyme or reason for everything. All right, just uh, make the decision and realize what you're doing uh, when you do make your decision. And then if there's repercussions for it, at least you're aware of it and uh, hopefully prepared to address them. All right, that's uh, basically my review on the, uh, the Leatherman Blast here. Uh, this is Helder. Once again, thank you for watching. And uh, stay prepared.